Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhog Tactical. I wanna to talk to you about holster placement inside the vehicle. So for me, if I'm normally carrying appendix, when I'm coming to my vehicle, I wanna sit there and swap over to the strong side. In my opinion, if my appendix is to my, or if I'm wearing my appendix holster and I put the seatbelt on, if I'm in a crash or something happens where the seatbelt tightens, now it's just gonna restrict my potential ability to pull that holster out. That's why I like it over on the strong side. Plus it just keeps it clean. Another point is when I'm getting in the vehicle, once I'm in here, you know, I get my holster shifted over. I wanna make sure that I'm moving my clothing in a way that I have easy access to my firearm. Cause at this point, there's no reason that I need to have it concealed cause I'm in the vehicle. If I happen to be going through a drive-through or something like that, where I could be concerned, somebody seeing my firearm, I can easily take my clothing, put it back over. And then once I'm about my business, bring it back. Here's the thing. We spend a lot of time in our vehicles. We have to figure out what is this technique or routine that we're gonna do when we're in the vehicle to one, get out of the seat belt efficiently and effectively, and then two, how are we securing our firearm if we need to? So let me give you a quick demonstration how I do it. So again, I'm in the vehicle, secure my seat belt just like I normally would. Now here's the thing, for most people, usually when they're gonna sit there and release their seat belt, they're coming down and they're gonna release with the strong side and now what winds up happening is I have this seat belt under my arm, so I have to physically bring it underneath. For me, what I'm doing is just a two-step movement. If I did have to draw my firearm, my firing hand is moving to my pistol. Simultaneously, my support hand is releasing the seat belt. So in essence, they're moving in unison. You'll notice the hand comes underneath the seat belt. I'm securing that grip on my pistol. That's released, now my hand comes up. I've got the ready position. I can present out and I'm right on target. If I had to engage something to the front, if I had to pivot one way or another, again, using my seated techniques, I can easily move. So it's just a matter of practicing those techniques inside your vehicle. This vehicle here happens to have leather seats. You kind of slide around a little bit. Maybe you have cloth, but it's definitely something you have to practice and try. So let me show you one more time, kind of the motions. So you see the action, and then really, this is something you can go back to your house, park in the garage, tuck everything in, make sure your pistol's cleared, and just work this in a dry fire manner so that you can know where that holster placement is for you inside your vehicle. So again, I get my seatbelt on. It's there, my hands are there. I'm coming underneath the seatbelt, securing my firearm, drawing it out, and I'm able to engage if I had a threat to my front. So again, guys, the ability to quickly access your firearm, where's your holster placement? Am I saying that you can't put it in an appendix? I'm not. What I'm saying is for me, it's not efficient. How are you getting your hand underneath to release that seatbelt? Because we wanna have our seatbelt on because if we are in a collision or something may happen because we're not always gonna need to pull this pistol out. But if we do, we wanna be able to get it out efficiently. And then, oh, by the way, if this vehicle is disabled and I have to get out of it now by having this arm away from that seatbelt where I'm not hung and I have two hands on the firearm, now I can quickly move and do other things. Practice this technique, try it out, figure out what works best for you and find your holster placement inside your vehicle.